Welcome to this video on how to get VMware Workstation Player version 17 working on Ubuntu 23.10. With the release of Ubuntu 23.10, VMware Workstation Player version 17 doesn't install cleanly. There's a couple of simple fixes for us to be able to get VMware Workstation Player working and we're going to look at a few of those now. We'll go through the whole procedure from start to finish. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to download VMware Workstation Player and hit the link on VMware. Towards the bottom you will find the download for Workstation for Linux. We'll download that and we'll save it into our downloads folder. Now with our download complete we can see we've got the installer in our downloads folder. So let's go to a terminal and install it. So the first thing we need to do is go to our downloads folder where we'll find the installer. We need to install it using sudo. So we'll copy the name of the file and paste it there and run up. We'll be prompted then for our password and the installer will then run. Now at this point we would usually run a couple of commands and the installer would be complete. So we're going to do that now. So these are the commands which would normally run which is this one. So I'm going to copy that and paste it there into the terminal and we will now install these dependencies and with that done at this point we would usually be able to start the VMware player and run the first setup which will require implying a couple of kernel modules and press install enter the password and it should compile However, you'll see this error message because the compilation failed. So what we need to do is cancel that. So we have a couple of fixes to apply and these fixes come from the VMware communities. The VMnet fix comes from here and the VMmon fix comes from here. I'll provide these links in the description below. So the fix basically comes down to going into the module folder, extracting the tar file. We're going to change this piece of text with this piece of text in this file. We're going to back up our original tar file and create a new tar file with a fix in it. So we're going to do the same for VMNet. We're going to add this line after line 46 in this file and create a new tar file. So the first thing we need to do is change directory to there. And if we have a look, we'll see we've got vmmon.tar and vmnet.tar, both of which need to be fixed. So this is a fix. So we're going to copy that and paste it there and run that. And that should have applied our fix. So we can see we've got our backups, we've got our new fix version, and we've got the folder that we extracted. So we're going to do the same for VMNet. So we'll paste that there into the terminal and run that. And that should have fixed the VMNet. So we've got our extracted folder, vmmon, our new vmmontar, our old vmmontar backup, and the same for vmnet. So one last thing, we're going to use that command, just move those two folders, we don't really need those, so it's nice and tidy. So we can go back to the applications, 
and start the VMware player again. And we'll go through the module compiling process. So we'll hit install, enter our password. And this time you can see we've gone a little bit further than that. So we can accept the terms in the license agreement. We don't check for updates. We don't want to join the customer experience approval program right now. We're going to use the free non-commercial version. If you are using it for a business, you need to really use a license. Click the finish. Enter our password again. And then VMware Workstation 17 Player is ready to use. So at this point we can create a new VM and start playing around. So thanks everyone for watching. I'll include in the description below the commands that I've used.